Patellar instability episodes can occur as frank dislocations or they can sometimes be more subtle with subluxation of the kneecap. When the kneecap or patella dislocates, it usually moves out to the outer side of the leg laterally. Here you can see that some people have anatomy that predisposes them to this with a shallower groove for the kneecap. They might sometimes have a smaller stabilizing muscle called the VMO or a loose and floppy medial stabilizing ligament called the medial patellofemoral ligament. The patella is already, in some people, sitting mostly to the outside and it might only take a slightly awkward position or a contraction of the knee in a position that's awkward to sublux or dislocate the kneecap. This can also occur with direct trauma that pushes the kneecap out to the side and you can see in this animation this process with damage to the medial stabilising structures and sometimes this leads to a cartilage injury as well here you can see a fragment that then forms a loose body. Investigation. Any instability episode of the knee warrants a full workup, which generally will include a physical examination, x-ray, and usually an MRI. Most cases will not require surgery, and first line treatment is strengthening and activity modification. Unfortunately, the evidence does not show excellent results from surgical stabilization and therefore surgery has to be considered very carefully and individually. Candidates for surgery may include those with multiple dislocations, recurrent instability episodes and pain despite dedicated rehabilitation, associated injuries such as an osteochondral fracture or significant disruption to the ligamentous restraints, and those with significant anatomical deformity. We know that younger patients are at higher risk of having continued recurrent dislocations, but over time as they mature skeletally, this can be reduced. Some unlucky patients do have a very shallow groove or a laterally perched patella that increases their risk of dislocation and may require correction of the anatomy. Treatment. A dislocated patella is obviously very painful, and while some will move back into position on their own, occasionally a qualified medical professional will need to assist. The method of reducing or relocating the patella is really quite simple, and it involves relaxing the patient's quadriceps and gently extending the knee. It should go back into position, but it might need a gentle push over the lateral border of the femur. Once the patella is reduced, it's important to protect the knee and use crutches until further assessment as other injuries can occur alongside a dislocated patella and recurrent dislocations can occur, for example, in bed. Generally, the medial ligament uh, of the kneecap is torn and there's bruising around the kneecap and the outer part of the thigh bone where the kneecap is dislocated. Short-term immobilization in a straight position has been shown to help the ligaments heal and reduce the rate of recurrent dislocation, but it has to be regularly monitored to balance the risk of increased stiffness of the knee. A range of motion brace is an excellent choice of brace for this injury because it can be kept out straight for the first couple of weeks to help the ligaments scar up in a correct position with some exercises to prevent excessive muscle loss and then it can be gradually adjusted over the weeks as the ligaments heal and remodel to allow increased range. Either way, the key is to ensure regular and early review with a knowledgeable physician to provide treatment alongside a regularly assessing physiotherapist. I hope you found this video useful. I create these educational videos to help empower patients by allowing them to understand their problem, treatment options and the expected recovery. Please remember this lecture is for educational purposes only, does not constitute the giving of medical advice and no patient-doctor relationship is formed.